Good morning, everyone. I'm just getting ready for my day, and I'd like you to get ready with me. Um, I'm going to be doing the Shira Tales wrap today. Um, the Shira Tales is named after our friend Shira, and it has tails. And we do have a video tutorial of her doing it, but for some reason it seems difficult for people to find. And it was done very impromptu at one of our shows. So I'm messing up my tikhla here. I have not had caffeine yet, so you're seeing me bright and early in the morning. Um, anyway, our friend Shira um, wears this style very often, and that's why it's named after her. And I'm just going to do a tutorial of it because it seems like everyone's always asking about it and can't seem to find a tutorial very easily. So the way I do it is I'm wearing a pashmina underneath. Now I'm going to show you the basic technique of the Shira Tails, but it's actually quite a bit simpler than I'm making it look here because I'm going to do a layered style. So I'm just going to bunch it up at the back. You can either crisscross or tie a knot. Um, if you are having a headache, then you should tie a knot. If you are not, then you know you can... Sorry, if you're having a headache, you should not tie a knot. Oh my goodness, my brain. And if you are not having a headache, then you should do whatever you want. I'm tying a knot today. So there you see that I have the back like this. Now usually when you tie a pashmina with both ends equal, there's one end that's slightly shorter, one end that's slightly longer. That's just, we're all human, that all happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slightly shorter end, because I'm going to use the longer end for layering later, and I'm going to wrap it around the back. And you don't have to worry about this being neat except that you want it to be near the back because you want your volume near the back. But don't worry about it being neat. And then just tuck it in like so. There you go. And now I'm going to put on top of this is a black pashmina. Yes, I'm wearing black, believe it or not. I'm wearing right now the blue and black Midnight Lakeshore Bliss. And here is a black pashmina. Once again, I'm holding it to fit my head. If you need instructions on how to do this, we have many videos on it, so definitely hit that up. So the second one, I'm going to be tying with one end shorter and one end longer. Now, I find with my head shape that you want the shorter end to be reaching about this area of your shoulder because you want the two tails to be even. Wow, I am not making sense. I really shouldn't make videos before I have caffeine, should I? I hope I'm making sense for all of you. So same thing. I'm going to tie it at the back. Now because I have the tail sticking out, I'm going to tie it so that the shorter end comes out underneath the knot. If you're left-handed, you might need to switch the way you normally tie knots. So see how this tail is coming out underneath instead of coming out on top? There we go. I have it nicely layered at the front. There's my tail. And now what I'm going to do before I do the actual Shira tails part, and again, you don't have to do this. I could have just wrapped this whole thing underneath, but I wanted to do a layered Shira tails. I'm going to be bringing this up. And around. And then just tucking it right here. There we go. You want to make sure the ends are looking even and nicely layered. And last but not least, oops, fringe, the bane of all of our existence. Fringe, fringe, fringe. And this wrap is wonderful because it actually, it does sit snug, snugly on your head, but it really just feels like a nice warm hug around your head. And it's perfect for the winter because you have these two tails hanging down and it's warm. So the second part I'm going to do is like this. And now you have this little end here the black. I'm going to stick my finger here. See, I've got my finger here. I'm going to bring this around back and I'm going to stick it through here. So can you see how it went through here like that? And there we have the shear tails. Let's 
beautiful, nice and cozy. So perfect for this weather. And it's so warm and so lovely. And if you want even more volume, you can add even another pashmina underneath. Anything you want, oh, I'm not even wearing earrings. Okay, forgive me ladies. I'm gonna go put on earrings as soon as this video is over. It would look better with earrings. Now I have an exciting announcement to make and I'm gonna make this before we even have them online so you have something to look forward to. But we are now gonna be carrying gorgeous lace um, sashes to be used in your tichels. And they are incredible, made from like beautiful, beautiful stretch lace in gorgeous colors. I'm just gonna demonstrate what you can do with them. I'm actually, we just got them this morning, so I'm not, I haven't actually experimented with it yet. But I definitely wanna experiment and show you how gorgeous this is gonna look. See, while I love the black, I'm not really into wearing black very often. So I'm going to place this here and tie it underneath. It's just so, it's so stretchy and beautiful. I'm loving it. Love, love, love. And again, I could have layered it at the beginning, but I wanted to surprise you at the end of the video. So now I'm going to fold it and put it like this you can basically go to like really just have fun with it I'm absolutely whoa this is so pretty love 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 okay so when you're done with the lace then you can just tie it and because it's stretchy it really won't hurt your head and it lies so flat and so nice it's taken us a long time to search out the perfect lace for tichel tying and then you can just tuck it in the back I tuck it underneath my knots right here. Oh, I'm in love. Yes, I'm in love with lace. Don't judge me. I'm in love with my husband too, but you know, lace is good. Okay, so there we have the Shira Tales and the new announcement about the lace, which will be coming up soon. We just have to get them all, all the colors straightened out and figure out how we're going to be putting them online, but they will be coming up soon. And enjoy. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Imagine me with earrings. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.